ट्वेल्थ जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मधुपन अव्यक्त बाप शांति रिवाइज थर्ड ऑफ अप्रैल नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन दूर्स टाइटल इज मूव अवे फ्रॉम ऑल लिमिटेशन एंड बिकेम वन हु हैज अनलिमिटेड डिस एंट्रस्ट थोड़े ऑल द चिल्ड्रन have reached their corporeal sweet home of madhuban to celebrate a meeting once again after a cycle madhuban is the sweet home of the corporeal world where spiritual meelas of the father and the children take place thus is a meela means gathering for a meeting so all of your children have come into this gathering for the meeting thus gatherings for meetings between the father and the children only take place at the confluence age and they only take place in madhuban this is why all of you have come running here and reach madhuban madhuban enables you to have a meeting with bab dada in the corporeal form along with that by your having easy remembrance it enables you to have an avyakta meeting because the land of madhuban has received the blessing of giving you the experience of a spiritual meeting and a meeting in the corporeal forms because it is the land that has received this blessing you easily have the experience of a meeting at no other place does a meeting between the ocean of knowledge and the rivers of knowledge take place thus is the only place for a meeting between the ocean and the rivers do you believe that you have come to such a great land that has received blessings at this year of tapasya it is especially the children who are celebrating the meeting for the first time and the cycle who are being given a golden chance how lucky you are at the beginning of the year of tapasya the new children have received extra power this extra power that has been given at the beginning will become cooperative in the future to enable you to move forward this is why the drama has also cooperated with the new children to enable them to move forward therefore they will not be able to complain and say we came later no the heir of tapasya has also been given a blessing you have received the right and the chance to step on the land of blessings and the heir of tapasya this extra fortune is not small you new children have especially received three blessings of the heir of tapasya of the land of madhuban and of your efforts so how lucky you are keep the intoxication of this imperishable fortune with you let this intoxication not just be with you while you are here but the father is imperishable you elevated souls are imperishable and so your fortune is also imperishable keep the imperishable fortune with you eternally it is just a matter of paying attention to it in an easy way not attention with tension let there be attention easily and what is difficult you have recognized my baba and you have also accepted him you know him you have accepted him you have experienced him and you have attained right so what is difficult simply continue to experience only the one is my baba this is full knowledge thus entire knowledge from the beginning through the middle to the end is merged in the word baba because baba is the seed the whole tree is merged and the seed is it not it is possible to forget the expansion but it is not difficult to remember the essence and the word baba it is always easy is it not it is not sometimes difficult and sometimes easy is baba 
always yours or is he yours only sometimes since baba is always yours remember it should also always be easy it is not a difficult thing god said you are mine and you said you are mine so then what is difficult this is why new children move ahead even more even now there is still a chance for you to move forward as yet the bugles for the final completion have not been blown therefore fly and continue to make others fly the way to do this is to stop waste continue to accumulate in your savings account because for 63 birds you have not been saving but you have been wasting all your accounts have diminished by your wasting them you wasted the treasure of breath you wasted the treasure of thought you also wasted the treasure of time the treasure of virtues the treasure of powers and you also wasted the treasure of knowledge so many accounts have become empty you now have to accumulate in all these accounts the time to accumulate them is now and you are also being shown by the father the easy method to accumulate them perishable treasures run out and decrease as you spend them whereas the more you use all of the treasures for yourselves and others with a pure attitude the more they will increase and accumulate here using the treasures is the way to accumulate them they are keeping them is the way to accumulate them here using them is the way to accumulate them and so there is a difference use your time for an auspicious task for yourselves or for others and it will continue to increase use knowledge similarly the more you use virtues and powers the more they will increase don't think like other people do they keep everything in a locker and think that they have accumulated a lot similarly you would also think that you have a lot of knowledge in your intellect that you have also a lot of virtues and powers do not keep this locked up use them do you understand the method to use for accumulation it is to make use of them use them for yourselves otherwise you will lose them some children say that they have all the treasures much in them however what is the sign of this things much in you to have them much in you means you have accumulated them the sign of this is that they are useful for you yourselves and for others at times of need if they are not being used but you still say you have accumulated a lot then that is not an accurate way of accumulating them therefore if the method you use is not accurate you will not be able to achieve the result of becoming perfect on time you will be deceived you will not be successful use the virtues and the powers and they will continue to increase so use the method of saving and the method of accumulating then the account of waste will automatically be transformed and be used in a worthwhile way on the path of devotion they have a system of donating physical wealth and using it in a worthwhile way according to how much they have therefore it continues to increase even in devotion in order to use everything in a worthwhile way they increase their zeal and enthusiasm so in the year of tapasya do not just check how much you have wasted to have wasted something is a different matter but also check how much you have used in a worthwhile way all the treasures you were told about and also the virtues are gifts from the father 
This is my virtue. This is my power. Do not make this mistake. Even in your dreams, these are gifts from the Father, gifts from God. To consider gifts from God to be yours is a great sin. Many children often think and speak in ordinary language. This virtue of mine is not being used. Or, I have this power. My intellect is very good. But, it is not being used. Where did mine come from? To say mine is to make it dirty. Even in devotion, they have continued to make this teaching for 63 births. Don't say mine says yours. Nevertheless, you didn't accept it in that way on the path of knowledge as well to say yours but to consider it to be mine is cheating and it will not work here therefore to consider a holy prasad from god to be yours means to be arrogant and disrespectful don't ever forget the word baba 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 has given power baba has given the intellect it is Baba's task. It is Baba's center. Everything belongs to Baba. Don't think this is my center. I created the center. So I have a right to it. Where did the word mine come from? It is yours. Have you carefully kept a bundle aside? Many children show such intoxication. I have had the building constructed for the center. So I have a right to it. However, whose center did you construct? It is Baba's center. Is it not? If you have surrendered it to Baba, how can it be yours? How can there be mine? When your intellect changes, you say, This is mine. By saying mine, mine, you dirtied it. Do not want to become dirty again. Do you remember the first promise you made to the Father for your Brahmin life? When you became a Brahmin, have the new ones made a promise or only the old ones? You, new ones who have now come, have also come as old ones, have you not? You have come after completing the form about having faith in the intellect, have you not? So everyone's first promise was mind, body, intellect and wealth are yours. Did all of you make this promise? If you are going to make a promise, now raise your hands. Those who think something has to be kept aside for the future. How can we give everything to the Father? We have to keep something aside. Those who think this is a sensible thing to do, raise your hands. Have you kept something aside? Be careful. Afterwards, do not say, who saw us anyway? Who is going to see me in such a crowd? Baba has a very clear TV. You cannot be hidden from that. Therefore, if you want to keep a little aside after careful consideration, then by all means keep it. What do the Pandavas think? Should you keep a little aside? Think about it very carefully. Those who wish to keep a little aside, raise your hands now. You will be saved. Otherwise later, you will be shown this time, this gathering, and you are nodding. Never let there be any consciousness of mine. When you do not say Bab, seen means Bab is committed. When you become influenced by seen, your intellect doesn't work. No matter how much someone tries to explain to you, you say no, this is right. This has to happen. This has to be done. Even the father feels mercy because you are under the influence of seen at that time. When the father is forgotten, seen is committed. Because you are under the influence of sin. You do not understand what you are doing and saying. Constantly stay conscious with knowledge. Don't come under the force of any sin. 
and between the wave of Maya comes in. You new ones need to keep yourself safe from this. Don't be caught up in any consciousness of mine. Mine. When souls get a little older, they have a lot of Maya with the consciousness of mine. Mine. My ideas. However, since even the intellect is not yours, where did your idea come from? So, do you understand what the way to accumulate is? Use it for a task. Use it in a worthwhile way. Use your godly sanskars in a worthwhile way and the sanskars of West will go away. When you don't use your godly sanskars for a task, the simply remain in your locker and the old sanskars continue to work. Many have the habit of keeping everything in a bag or in their cupboards. They have many very beautiful clothes, money and things and yet they will not use the old things. They love their old things and so the things in the cupboard simply remain in the cupboards and they go out using just the old things. Do not continue to use your old sanskars and let the godly sanskars simply remain in the locker of your intellect. Use them for a task. Use them in a worthwhile way. So keep a chart of how much you used everything in a worthwhile way. To use something in a worthwhile way means to use it and increase it. Use everything in a worthwhile way with your mind, with your words. In relationships and with contacts, with actions, with your elevated company and with your extremely powerful attitude. Do not just think my attitude is always very good. So how much of it was used in a worthwhile way? My son's cars are those of peace anyway. So how much were they put to use in a worthwhile way? Did you use them by adopting the method of using them for a task? You will easily experience the success of becoming perfect. To use something in a worthwhile way is the key to success. Do you understand what you have to do? Do not be happy with just yourselves. I am very good and virtuous. I can give very good lectures. I am a very good Gyani soul and my yoga is very good. So if is that good, then use it. Use it in a worthwhile way. Use it for a task and increase it. It will continue to increase without any effort and you will then use it in a comfort for 21 words. You will not have to make any effort there. This is an unlimited gathering. Om Shanti Bhavan was fully packed and therefore some people had to sit in a meditation hall and history hall. The hall was too small. There is the praise of your memorial mentioned in the scriptures. First, water was put into a glass, then it was put into a pot, then into a pond, then from the pond it flowed into the river where did it finally go into the ocean so this gathering first took place in the history hall then in the meditation hall and it is now taking place in om shanti bhavan now where is it going to take place however this does not mean that you cannot experience an avyakt meeting without a corporeal meeting the practice of the avyakta meeting has to increase according to the time and you do have to increase it. The Dhanis became merciful and had special mercy for the new ones. However, increase the experience of the avyakta that will be useful to you at the right time. Look back to the it's still now playing the part of the corporeal meeting for the new children but until when will this continue so are all of you happy and content 
are you content with staying outside too this too is a part of the drama since you say that the whole of abu will belong to you how is this going to happen so first of all at least plus your feet there then the places that are called the dharmshalas will all become yours look even in the foreign lands it has already begun to happen the churches are not used so much and so they have offered them to the brahmakumaris to use so people offer those big palaces they have but are not able to run to you to use so the feet of the brahmins are being placed in every place there is significance and thus too therefore brahmins play a part of the drama in setting their feet there so what will you do when the whole of abu becomes yours the themselves will offer it to you saying you look after it they will say look after us and also look after the ashrams therefore whatever part you receive at any time play that part with happiness acha to the chatrak souls everywhere who celebrate a meeting and imbibe the jewels of knowledge to the elevated souls who celebrate a meeting in the subtle form and the corporeal form to the souls who use all the treasures in a worthwhile way and become embodiments of success to the souls who have unlimited disinterest and who constantly have the consciousness of my baba and have no trace of any limited consciousness of my to the children who constantly attend the success of becoming complete by using the accurate method that the dadas love remembrance and namaste the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father bab dada speaking to dadis there should always be new scenes should there not this was also new scene in the drama and it was repeated did you ever think that this hall would also become small you wouldn't like to have the same scene all the time you would like to see a new scene sometimes this is also spiritual splendor is it not the thought of all of this souls had to be fulfilled and this is why the scene took place you were given permission from here you may come so what can one do now the new ones will increase and the older ones are now old you came with enthusiasm and so you set yourselves accordingly and that was good it has to be big it is not going to become any smaller since there is the title of being a world benefactor compared to the world this is nothing there is going to be expansion and the method will be new also there are going to be different methods now the attitude will become powerful when your attitude becomes powerful by having tapasya then through your attitude the attitudes of souls will automatically change acha all of you don't get tired doing service do you you come here with pleasure there is always pleasure acha blessing may you accumulate your stock of blessings by performing elevated karma and become a living image who grants visions explanation take blessings and give blessings in whatever actions you perform by performing elevated actions you automatically receive everyone's blessings it emerges from everyone's lips thus one is very good wow your actions became a memorial no matter what work you do take happiness and give happiness take blessings and give blessings because you take and give blessings at the conference age people will continue to take blessings from your non living images 
and you will become living images who grant visions at the present time too. Slogan Constantly maintain zeal and enthusiasm and laziness will finish. Om Shanti